What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Gigimundo USB 4.0 portable SSD drive. Taking a look at the specs, this has one terabyte of storage space, data transfers up to 3000 megabytes per second, uses the USB 4.0 protocol, which is capable of 40 gigabits per second and features a scratch and shockproof case. Taking a look inside the box, you get the manual, a USB-C to USB-C cable, a USB-C to USB-A cable, and then you have the SSD drive itself, which has a very nice glossy finish on it. Taking a look at the drive itself, it has a nice and stylish glossy red case, and then you have aluminum trim running all along the sides. For a portable SSD, this is on the larger side and feels closer to the enclosures of 2.5 inch SATA drives, so in comparison here, I have a SanDisk SSD drive, and then you have the Gigamundo. It's not too much bigger, but it's a decent size larger compared to this one, which is pretty small. Unfortunately, there aren't any screws on the case, or I would have opened it up and inspected it more. But using the Drive DX application, I was able to confirm that this is an NVMe drive inside. I tried to look up serial and firmware numbers to try and find out what kind of drive is in it. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to find out anything about the drive. All right, so getting this hooked up to the computer. One thing I love about this drive is it actually has a full one terabyte of usable space on it. 1.03 terabytes to be exact. I own many drives that claim a certain capacity, but typically they'll round up and you often get several gigabytes less. So it's good to see a manufacturer actually give you the full capacity they advertise. All right, so moving on to the most important test of the drive, how is the speed? So as a baseline, I first ran a test on my internal SSD drive of my 2021 MacBook Pro, and this is the results I got. Keep in mind that this is a drive that is soldered onto the main board of the laptop, so it's unlikely any external drive is going to compete with this. Next, I ran the same test on my one terabyte SanDisk Extreme SSD drive, and this is the results I got. Then lastly, I ran the same test on the one terabyte Gigamundo drive and here are the results I got. So to compare the two, here is the SanDisk side by side with the Gigamundo. So you have SanDisk over here, the Gigamundo here. And as you can see, the Gigamundo is anywhere from two to four times faster in every single category. It does fall a little short of its advertised claims, but that aside, these are still very impressive speeds. It advertises up to 3000 megabytes per second and did almost 2800. In real world situations, no one is ever going to see any difference between these two speeds. So overall, I'm definitely happy with the performance of this drive. Again, external drives are never going to be as fast as internal ones, but these speeds are so fast at this point that between the internal drive and this Gigimundo one, it's very unlikely you are going to notice much difference. If you're doing something like writing a very large 4K video, then the internal drive will definitely shave off a few minutes. But for 95% of most users, this drive is way more than enough than you would ever need. So the only thing remaining is reliability. Again, I don't know what kind of drive is inside this enclosure and I really don't wanna break it to find out, but hopefully it's a reliable one. If I have any issues or failures with the drive, I'll most definitely come back and let you all know. But even if I don't, I'll definitely drop a comment from time to time just to give you an update if it's still working or not. Overall, if you're someone looking for a high speed backup drive or just need more space on your laptop, then I 100% recommend this drive here from Gigimundo. I have the one terabyte version here, so I can't speak for the other versions because they also have a two terabyte version and a 512 gigabyte version. There might be some smaller ones, so I'm not sure if it's the same drive in every one. But as far as the one terabyte version I have here, this is definitely a solid drive. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll do what I can to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.